Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of Stenton Square. Welcome to Stenton Square! what's going on in the market because normally on a Saturday morning you'll be lucky if you've got four stores here. Really great fruit and veg stores, things like that, but just, just the kind of activity here, partly because the economic decline and stuff has really gone down. So the idea is to, is to get artists involved regularly on events such as this uh, to, to, to kind of revitalise that space. And with the Contemporary Art Society commissioning a major new piece of public artwork, with the artist that has been selected, um, it's an artist called Neville Gaby. Um, it's not, he's not the sort of person to plonk a public sculpture in and then forget about it and then pay lots of council tax money. I expect council uh, taxpayers to pay money to, to, to restore it and renovate it. So, um, yeah, the, the idea is that right from the outset, Neville will be involved with the artists in the city and artist studio groups. Uh, to really ask them what, what they want, really, as well. As well as well as people that live and work in the market every day. Well, I'm helping out with the backlit stalls. I have a studio there. Um, I made a jigsaw and some pots of jam. And um, I'm doing a performance as Rudolph the Reindeer a bit later on. Well, I mean, I think a market's all about people, isn't it, really? You know, and that kind of exchange of not just goods, but, you know, conversation, where people come from. I mean, a lot of people shopping in markets are local but a lot of people supplying things perhaps come from further afield and I I kind of like that idea of a market being a meeting point for, for stuff as well as ideas, thoughts, um, conversation so um, I think it's fantastic to have artists in and around the market and involved with it. I guess I'm interested in for it as what this could become in the sense of I mean it's nice that like Christmas things are being made over there and stuff like that, but I also think you know taking the art out of the idea of necessarily being commerce, but also because I mean we can all sell cookies for a day and stuff like that. But I think it's more interesting the more that artists get involved to do things beyond just the idea of yeah, using absolutely. it for um, commodity. <laughs> What I've got to try and do is really understand the, the place first and the people and, and the community in and around Nottingham, both of artists and other people who use the market as really very, very early days. So I just really need to kind of try and understand it. But I suppose when I think about legacy, I mean, obviously it's important to perhaps improve the kind of physical characteristics of the place, but I kind of see legacy as being something which is very much about people too and how people might. Um, want to kind of live, work, use the area longer term. So, um, yeah. I think it's important in, in Neville's work specifically is that, you know, from what I've seen, what I'm aware of is the sense that the people are really the medium that he uses to uh, to create something that that is that is truly an exchange. It's not as though people are kind of just used as a as a means to an end, it's like what, what their interests are and, and how they live their lives really becomes the focus of the work. And so in that way it's not art doing 
regeneration to then become gentrification is yes, more that absolutely. the art is, is specifically what he brings to it through the people that he works with. So in that sense, it's about the people who are here, not the people who may come later. It's about really what's here now. Uh, I bought a cup of tea for a pound. How did you hear about it? Um, you know, you hear whispers and rumours, uh, you know, amongst the, in the in the taverns and the uh, places. Did, 